We are live for Honkai Star. Whoa. Okay, there it goes. Hard Honkai Star Rail for the first time. So, can we change Europe? <laughs> or am I stuck in Europe? You can click on Europe. Okay, because because I can't click on start. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh my God, this is already going so well. Now, why did it auto, it auto change to America? That's fine, that's where we are. Okay, start game. Oh, we're playing like a fake violin. What is 4715 system time? Very punctual, Kafka. What is going on? It's just like things are not good in the background and she's like vibing. She is sounding very sensual. After all, Elio didn't put it in the script. Why would it matter? Oh my god. Oh my god, she's unhinged. Uh, oh, cool. They like use their phones. Uh, Alucard, is that you? Space. Time to say bye. Oh, wow. Cleaning up other people's mess is oh. a nice description. You know, Kafka? Uh, yeah, yeah. Where did oh, you she's send cute. A wolf? Some random coordinates, not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. I'm just amazed that this fancy technique of yours, as usual. Just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Herta's Toys. A catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Oh. Doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kind of want to know mine. Fine. I guess <laughs> we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. Oh, so that's where the Stellaron is. Cancer of all worlds? That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. I notice that Kafka's eyes, like she looks like <laughs> there's, the life has left her eyes. <laughs> like I'm really curious about her. Like is she, did some, like I'm sure something happened. Like I, I don't doubt that something happened, but she looks like she is dead inside. The stage is yours. You know, I can't tell if like they have good intentions or like I was just thinking about that like as as I was watching like <laughs> like do they have good intent like obviously I don't know everything mm. that's going on but I mean it just feels like <laughs> I don't it doesn't feel like they have good intentions or like somebody is doing something bad I don't know that's the uh, that is that's the vibe I'm getting so far. <laughs> The receptacle's ready. 
your decision. <laughs> oh! Leo said this decision will bring about lots of changes. He also said it must be you who makes it. Oh my god! Oh, wait! Are they making? They're making the main character. Uh, come on! I'll pick for you. This one. Yeah, this one. Uh, Silverwolf, did you forget that I must be the one to make this decision? <laughs> She's cute. There we go. I didn't know the How MC was created. Remember? Hmm. I'll remember you. Wait, what? Time to get up. I just woke up. I know, Silver Wolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry. Someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. Kafka. When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. Oh, I'm already attached to her. The fact that she's like, I'm leaving now, like, she is igniting my abandonment issues. <laughs> this feels really weird. Lori's a character that follows a path of destruction. True. Yeah, I do like me a good chaos. A spirited and quirky young girl who is into all the things girls her age are interested in, such as taking photos. <laughs> she was awakened from a piece of drifting eternal ice, only to find that she knows nothing about herself or her past. Though initially feeling dejected, she decided to name herself after the date of her rebirth. And thus on that day, March 7th was born. That's actually, that's a cute, that's a cute story. But the fact that she just makes shit up about her life, like, oh my god, my favorite, uh, my favorite vegetable since I was like six years old is potatoes. Even though she doesn't even know if that's true or not. I love that. With me out here, how The power of cuteness! I did not even know that there is going to be a free character. Like, like dead ass. I had no idea when I had planned to play this because I had planned to play this in January anyway. And I literally did not know that you were getting, you were getting a free character at the time that I was planning on playing until people kept telling me. They're like, oh my God, this is the perfect time because you're getting doctored, um, uh, Dr. Retweet or something? The enemy's weakness type can be viewed after approaching them. Entering battle with an attack that matches the enemy's weakness type can reduce the toughness of the enemy in advance. Oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> it's not- it's not Dr. Retweet! March. Wait, Come she's home. from- sorry, I was like- <laughs> From Honkai Impact. Come on. Asta has been worried about all of you. Does Himiko have a boob mole or am I just seeing things? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start pulling. I'm gonna start pulling. Oh, that's, that's really cute. It's like you're putting in a ticket for like the train. Wait. Oh, I think I've seen that. I got, I got, I got Asta La Vista. Is he naked with a book? Why is he naked with a book? Oh, he he's taking a bath. Oh, he's like, he's like smart because he has like this thing. What is this? Like geometry? I cannot believe this. Oh, who is this? I'm pretty sure that I've seen this character before. She's very cute. I got a gremlin. I got, wait, isn't this, everybody's, everybody's talking about her. Oh my God, this is the, this is the one everyone's talking about her. This, this character freaks me out. I think I saw her when I was reacting and she freaked me out because of all the dolls. <gasps> wait, I just noticed that she has like these sock puppets that are the, the, the protagonist. What? Oh my God, wait, no, I remember now. She's got the ball joints. Oh my God, she's weird. What kind of weapon is this? Is it like a, a like a suitcase with a a pizza cutter? <laughs> it looks like a pizza cutter. Yeah, it looks like a pizza cutter. What's happening? Oh my god, she's actually so cute, but she's freaking me out. I'm like, I do I have to remember this? Three steps. 
finally outputting the signal. Turning on the spectator, then I'm turning ready? your attention on, Three, then outputting the two, the fibr one. fibrillator. Uh, up, right? Wonderful. Thank I got her right. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so pretty. What? Oh my god, they're. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Take the express and leave. I'll stay. But let's go. Did a hand just bust through their space station? Oh, that! Oh, oh! <laughs> my um, uh, my object awareness, whatever the fuck it's called, not good. <laughs> I didn't even see that man. We're in danger. No, no, no. I'm not going to be ending super late. Is that a dragon? Doomsday beast. It's really here. Get down here. Uh, careful, everyone. Cool. Bro, what? I mean, do we just die? What happened? What's the end of your story? Who is that? Oh my gosh. Do we just get knocked out? Mr. Yang, is she They're okay now. By a man? Somewhere else. Oh my god, we're getting text messages. Shut up. What? A few months? I'm oh. She's already in this state? Welcome back. You've been gone for months? This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? <laughs> She's actually really cute. I will go anyway, anywhere with you, Miss Ma'am. Let's go. I'll be waiting. There's lyrics? Time to get on. Till we make it. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> We're leaving them? We will I'm over here. Come with me, take the journey. The way that the way that I'm being hey, stared at. You over there looking dumbfounded. <laughs> Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. I, I was looking dumbfounded. Told She's like, wow, I wish that I had your youth that you youngsters have because you young people are always feeling so youthful and um, not old. <laughs> How old is she? Probably something like 30 years ancient. I am going to pass the fuck out. Maybe late 20s to early 30s? <sighs> the most annoying thing about idiocy is that you can't explain it to an idiot. Oh, I can't stay away from books in bathtubs, especially the former. When one's head is stuffed with filth, one's body is no cleaner. Did he just... He just called... Did he just call stupid people dirty? I feel like every time I talk to him, he calls me stupid in some way. He calls me stupid. He calls me dirty. <laughs> like, imagine if I tried to do math in front of him. 
Oh my goodness! The universe. <gasps> it's a space whale! The Astral Express. Eons. <sighs> Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? This Stellaron thing. In my Are body? You <laughs> <the stars? laughs> I've done stuff like that before. But she was having a moment. It wasn't stars <laughs> for me though. It was lights. Hello? Hello, hello? <clears throat> All passengers, please return to your seats. <laughs> the train is about to make the jump. I won't Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that's so cool. March 7th is me when I'm on the Disney monorail and I'm like, and I have to stand, but I'm like, I'm not gonna grab on. I don't need it. I can hold myself up. After all those millennia, <laughs> is this what your Relo 6 has become? Uh-huh. So that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. What does that mean? Schedule alteration. Seven day stopover time extended indefinitely. Anomaly? Hmm. The complex locality of this world has been affected somehow. The star rail has been blocked off by something. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped and the way forward oh. straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a Stellaron, oh. as always. Stellaron. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. What should we do? What exactly is a Stellaron? Didn't I have this answered already or no? Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. There's no need to worry. This isn't the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Even if we don't know much about them, at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. Hmm. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Urelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. So you're saying, why can't the people in the world affected save themselves? So we're like chivalrous, chivalrous, Chivalrous band of cosmic knights. I I'm gonna say that. I love that. Right. You finally get what we're all about. Pretty cool, huh? I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions and bring it back to the express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! You're not coming? Why us? I'm kinda sleepy! I'm just answering all of like the ridiculous ones. I'm kinda sleepy. Hey, that's not the spirit! <laughs> so it's still not our turn. Welts? I know you really want gray to go, hair is interesting. We should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on Not their own. Not the youngsters. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. 
March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for your Relo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. So, like, that type of stuff. Or, like, Alba all of Albedo's hey, lore. Get out of there, or you'll shiver to death. Holding your breath won't help. I got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or the snow, in this case. <laughs> They just need a helping hand. Ouch! Did he just stab My him? My fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, yeah. Surely, it doesn't warrant a spearing. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Oh, this is Sampo. Weren't people talking? Some somebody talked about him or something. I don't know. Somebody was saying something about this man. We have places trading. to be. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost. Oh. But, but it would be my pleasure. <laughs> Kindness is Sampo Kosky's middle name. <laughs> oh, hmm. white man jump scare. Meaningless sacrifice. How can you? It's Branya. <clears throat> you may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. <sighs> wow, she's yes, so pretty. Mother. mother. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jacquard. You may leave. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? <laughs> I am Kokolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. So you don't doubt our identity, so you believe we come from beyond the sky. Say that one. Mother like, like mother or mother like doubted? mother. Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself. <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. Oh. I can see that you are not from this world. She's actually the really pretty. remember the history well, else we should forget it. We want to help you. We've come to Trailblaze this planet. That sounds so bad if nobody knows what trailblazing is. It, seem, it sounds like we've come to colonize this planet. I'm going to say it. Uh, do you think anyone's going to know what you're talking about? I knew it. <laughs> we came here for something known as a stellar. <laughs> Some of which prove vexatious to us even today. Every time I look at her... But why should you care? I fall a little in love. She has dead I don't mom that anyone would anime such hair. Lengths to help dead a anime mom hair. Related to them. Was it the door opening? Of course, I understand. Excuse me? Do not worry. I have a way. Oh, uh, oh, she is evil. Oh, she's it not a good that person. The Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. A trash can, not remarkable. You've been staring at it for a while, but it's just an ordinary trash can. <laughs> what do you want to do? You try to hold back the urge to open it. <laughs> what? As you continue staring at the trash cans, they seem to turn before your very eyes. The edges are no longer rusty and the dents are smoothed over. <laughs> From under the lid comes a faint golden glow, sweet and alluring. For a moment, the trash cans turn into treasure chests. And it's happening again. You take a deep breath and open the lid. It's empty. Wait, you reach deeper into the trash can. There's a piece of iron scrap on the bottom. Your hard work paid off. You finally found the treasure. What is going on? 
You look back at your companions and see their complicated expressions. You don't need to explain. I get it. That urge is too great for you to resist. There's no turning back when she walked down this path. <laughs> what? What? What was that? <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Oh wow, she. Oh my cool. gosh! Oh my gosh! This is um, Serval. The one that people were saying is old. She's old because she's like 30, right? So messed up. Though I she's so pretty. I'll be interested in fixing it. So let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silvermane Guards and a temporary guide for the A Journey Through Bellabog's History program. My name is Pelagea Sergeyevna. Pelagea Servit. What now? <laughs> Without a doubt, what's in front of you is a closet. It is, based on all the signals coming in from your sensory organs, a perfect closet. Design, capacity, tactility, build quality, and scent. No matter how you look at it, you can't possibly... Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Scent? How is scent a measurement of how good a closet is? Doesn't matter. It smells good. And it's not an odor of typical sandalwood or any other natural materials. Rather, it is a miraculously cleansing scent that is completely artificial. A marvel of chemical engineering. It is so alluring that all you want to is to get into the closet and let your whole body soak in its scent. Whatever, I'm going in. Here I come, closet. Yes, you're about to go in. I cannot believe I'm going back into the closet. After all of these years, I'm going into the closet again. Congratulations, you've now been merged with the universe's most perfect closet as one single entity. But honestly, your mood is far from reaching the state of excitement. Perhaps you need more time to comprehend the subtle wonder in all of this. Hmm, this place might seem a little too dark for you. Guess you'll eventually get used to it, right? Dark Knight gifted me a set of dark eyes. <laughs> what? Ha, that's the spirit. Give it more time. Adapt to this dark environment. Trust yourself. Just wait a little longer. Something more interesting than this pitch darkness will occur. It's guaranteed to be the real deal. Wait, did you hear that? A sound is closing in. Click, click. It's just someone walking in the corridor. The real deal is coming. What is happening? You've got to change your nihilistic views on life, pal. No, that's not the sound of human footsteps. That's the Goeth Hotel's devil. Yes, yes, now you finally get it. <laughs> that's the Goeth Hotel's resident devil. It hibernates in dirty, unattended small attics, specifically feeding on innocent and vulnerable outsiders. It picked the wrong opponent to mess with this time. After all, you are the universally renowned trailblazer, the guardian deity of the Hurtis space station, the doomsday beast, um, doom. Yep, today's the day you purge evil for the greater good. It doesn't seem to be that dark in the closet. The light of valor illuminates your surroundings. Wow. <laughs> room service is anyone in there ha there it is all hotel devils love to disguise themselves as room service such a cliche you'll be fooled easily fooled by it your mind is stronger than those city walls built by wild path you're prepared um i'm gonna come in now okay now devil meet your judgment <laughs> die you hotel devil Ah, ah, oh, what the heck? You won. The Goeth Hotel's devil is now banished, and this land is now purified. Um, the devil seems to have left something behind. Take it as your reward for your intrepidity. Intrepidity. Wow. Wow. In this grand universe, moral standards are materialized into physical form. Thumbs up approvals are in a rare sight. What is this? What did I just experience? You were there at the fort. I am Branya Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord in the Highest, and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. Mm. As agent of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. When you are tried by the adjudication panel, you will be given the opportunity to defend yourselves against the accusations. Resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. Why do I keep getting arrested? Uh, wait a minute. This 
isn't what we agreed. She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. This is an orchestra. Oh, betrayal, wait. Obviously. The invisible man was talking to her and Looks probably like said we've something. been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. <laughs> That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. Hey, I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And... Got one! Donung, the alley. The one that's been sealed off. Hmm, it's possible. March. Be ready to make an escape. Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. <laughs> it's now or never. You sounded pretty convincing. We should probably go with them. No, we're not going with them. Um, I'm gonna say it's now or never. Three of a kind. Huh? I guess we are a strange trio. Can we focus, please? I'm sorry. Shh. It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? Two pair? Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. Ace! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Have an ice day! Have an ice day! She is... She is just like me. She's making puns? Oh my god! I am... I just... I really love March. A big fan. They charged straight in! Escaping into a fragmentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. It would seem that Mother's judgment was correct. Should we report them as missing or deceased? <sighs> the Supreme Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed off area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. Y yes, ma'am. Her hair is so pretty. I am eradicate all threats to Bellabox security. I am a big I am a big I fan do. of Rania. Now I can do it? I'm s I'm okay. Oh, did I get something? What did I get? Memories of the past? Is that Branya and her weird mom? Subscribe for more? Who is that? Trend of the universal market. 